Welcome to an overview of the Druk Path Trek. Day 1, the can -do team will meet you at the Paro Airport and transfer you to your pre-trek hotel. Later in the afternoon, there is the option to join a tour of the city. Once a watchtower built to defend Rin Pung Zong during the inter-valley wars of the 17th century, Tad Zong was inaugurated as Bhutan's National Museum in 1968. It holds a fascinating collection of art, relics, religious Thanka paintings and Bhutan's exquisite porcelain stamps. The museum's circular shape augments its varied collection which is displayed over several floors. Afterwards we will take a walk down a hillside trail to visit Ringpun Zong which has a long and very interesting history. Built in 1646 by Shabdrung Ngawang Namgyal, the first spiritual and temporal ruler of Bhutan, the Dzong houses the monastic body of Paro, the offices of the Dzonga, district administrative head, and Thrimpon, or judge of Paro district. The approach to the Dzong is through a traditional covered bridge called Nemi Zam, which offers a good view of the architectural wonder of the Dzong as well as life around it. Later you will attend a pre-trek briefing with your lead guide to prepare you for the journey ahead. We will overnight at the hotel in Paro. Day 2. In the morning we will take an excursion to Taksang Lakang, commonly known as the Tiger's Nest Monastery. Undoubtedly one of the most famous of Bhutan's monasteries, the Tatshang Monastery, is one of the most breathtaking temples in the world. This Buddhist place of worship is perched on a cliff top at around 10,000 feet above sea level. The main temple complex was built in 1692 and is considered to be one of the holiest for the Bhutanese people. Legend has it that Guru Rinpoche, an 8th century Indian Buddhist master, arrived here in the back of a tigress and meditated at this monastery, thus the name Tiger's Nest. The site has been recognised as a sacred place and was visited by Shabdrung Ngawang Namgyal, who was a Tibetan Buddhist Lama and the unifier of Bhutan as a nation state, and is now visited by all Bhutanese at least once in their lifetime. On 19th of April 1998, a fire severely damaged the main structure of the building, but now this Bhutanese jewel has been restored to its original splendour. We start our steep climb up to the Tiger's Nest Monastery from the car park at 2600 metres. From here, the monastery looks like a small white dot on the cliff. As we ascend through rhododendron forests, we will catch glimpses of the monastery. At the halfway point, we take a short rest break and are rewarded with awesome views of the Tiger's Nest coming closer into view. Another shorter steep climb, and we reach the second viewpoint where the famous photographs of Tatshang Lakang were taken. We then descend down the stone steps to cross a narrow gorge before climbing up the other side to enter into the heart of the tiger's nest. After lunch, we will visit the 7th century Kaiutsu Lakang, one of the 108 temples built in the Himalayas by Tibetan king Songsen Gampo. The building of this temple marks the introduction of Buddhism in Bhutan. We will then drive to Drukhyal Dzong, a ruined fortress where Bhutanese warriors fought Tibetan invaders centuries ago. In the early 1950s, Drukhyal Dzong was almost completely destroyed by fire. The snowy dome of sacred Chomol Hari, the bride of Kanjen Junga, can be seen in all her glory from the approach road to the Dzong. After our tours, we will return to our hotel in Paro. Day 2, Paro to Jangchu Laka. Today our trek begins with a short climb up through forested hillsides to Jelly Zong at 3,540 metres, a small fortress perched on the first of many ridges that we will cross. The Zong is currently being refurbished with local artists carefully repainting the traditional intricate designs for which Bhutan is famous. If the weather is clear, the Paro Valley can be seen, with snow-capped mountains rising behind. There is also a Lakang containing a statue of Buddha Sakyamuni. Women who come to the monastery to seek blessings of children get hit on the head by the presiding lama with a 10-inch ivory wood and bone phallus, so be careful. After lunch we continue to climb up again through the forest to a wonderful viewpoint which affords dramatic views of the valley on both sides and the Himalaya to the north. The trail takes us through thick alpine forests and rhododendrons. Weather permitting, we will have beautiful views of the Black Mountains and Chomolari and other snow-capped peaks. Mono pheasants can be heard calling during the day and we may see the nomadic yak herders moving along the trails. Day 4, Jang Chulaka to Lake Jingalang Cho. The trail continues to follow the ridge and on a clear day the views of the mountains and valley are sensational. 
There will be a lot of ascent and descent today as we climb up the main ridge again before dropping down to cross over to the other side of the valley as we make our way towards Thimpu. We will enjoy a great view of Jichu Drake, 6,989 metres, the peak representing the protective deity of Paro, before settling for the day at our camp close to the second glacial lake of Jimgalang Cho, famous for its giant trout. If we're lucky, we may get to see herds of yaks cooling off. Day 5, Lake Jimgalang Cho to Simkota. We leave the campsite and the trail climbs up steeply through dwarf rhododendron trees as we follow a succession of ridges to reach the second lake, Janastro. We may come across a yak herders camp and we'll spend some time seeing how they live. A final climb will bring us to our campsite by the third lake at Simkota with the possibility of catching a lake trout for dinner. Day 6, Simkota to Thimpu. Today begins with a gradual climb up to the Fumila Pass, the highest point of our trek, at 4,210 metres. From here we can enjoy majestic views of Mount Gangar Puensum, 7,570 metres, the highest peak in Bhutan and the highest unclimbed peak in the world. The trail descends, winding through juniper trees to a campsite beside a community hall near Fajo Ding Monastery. From here, it is a downhill all the way to Thimpu, passing through a forested area of mostly blue pine. Taking a leisurely pace, we will reach Thimpu with sufficient time to enjoy an afternoon city tour. Our city tour will visit King's Memorial Chorter, continuously circumambulated by people murmuring mantras and spinning their prayer wheels. Construction of this landmark was the idea of Bhutan's third king, His Majesty Jingmi Dorji Wangchuk, the father of modern Bhutan. Completed in 1974 after his untimely death, it serves both as a memorial to the late king and as a monument to peace. We will also visit Trashiho Dozong, Fortress of the Glorious Religion. This is the centre of government and religion, site of the monarch's throne room and seat of J. Kenpo, or Chief Abbot. Built in 1641 by the political and religious unifier of Bhutan, Shabdrung Ngawang Namgyal, it was reconstructed in the 1960s in traditional Bhutanese manner without nails or architectural plans. We will stay overnight at a hotel in Thimpu. Day 7, Thimpu to Punaka. We start this morning in Bhutan's capital city with a visit to the National Library, which holds a vast collection of ancient Buddhist texts and manuscripts, some dating back several hundred years, as well as modern academic books mainly on Himalayan culture and religion. We will also visit the nearby Institute for Zorig Chusum, an arts and crafts school, where we may see the students being taught the 13 traditional arts and crafts of Bhutan. We will follow on to the Textile Museum, providing a fascinating insight into Bhutanese material culture and way of life, followed by a visit to Simply Bhutan, a living museum and studio encapsulating the cultural heritage of Bhutanese people. The infrastructure portrays ancient Bhutanese architecture which is being lost to modernisation and the preservation and promotion of culture being one of the four pillars of gross national happiness. Please note, both the National Library and the Institute for Zorig Chusum are closed at weekends and government holidays. And the Textile Museum is closed on Sundays and government holidays. After lunch we will leave Thimpu and drive up a series of zigzags to Dotula Pass at 3,088 metres, stopping briefly here to take in the view and admire the Chorton, Mani Wall and prayer flags which decorate the highest point on the road. Magnificent vistas are all around including the following peaks, Masagang, Sendagang, Terigang, Ejigang Fugang, Kang Fugang, Zon Fugang and finally Gangar Puensum, the highest peak in Bhutan at 7,570 metres. After crossing the pass, the road descends into Punaka Valley. We will overnight at the hotel in Punaka. Day 8, drive from Punaka to Paro. Before we leave Punaka, we will visit the majestic Punaka Zong, built strategically at the junction of the Po Chu and Mo Chu rivers in 1637 by Shabdrung Ngawang Namgyal. It serves as a religious and administrative centre of the region. Damaged by four catastrophic fires and an earthquake, the Zong has been fully restored by the present king. Later we will drive back to Paro, taking a short excursion to Chimi Lakang, dedicated to the Lama Drukpa Quenli, also known as the Divine Madman, for his humorous and often outrageous methods of teaching Buddhism. 
The temple is also well known as a temple of fertility and women will come here to pray for children. Upon arrival in Paro, we will check in at the hotel before taking an evening stroll around the market streets of Paro. We will overnight at a hotel in Paro. Day 9. Departure. We will collect you from your hotel and transfer you to Paro Airport for your morning flight to Kathmandu or Delhi.